Hello everyone. Today we are going to continue with the data representation chapter 2 and the topics we are going to look is number conversions in that representing unsigned integers in binary and binary addition. Now let us look at the first topic representing unsigned integers in binary. We know that uh, unsigned integers are nothing but 0 with all the positive integers and uh, if we represent that in uh, uh, decimal numbers we can say that if it is a single digit number uh, then the maximum single digit number will be 9 and the range will be 0 to 9 and uh, we can uh, say the equivalent representation will be 10 to the power 1 it's a single digit so 10 to the power 1 minus 1 and uh, for a two digit number the maximum value is 99 and the number range is from 0 to 99 and the equivalent representation uh, is 10 to the power 2 minus 1 and uh, for a three digit number we can say that uh, uh, the range will be 0 to 999 since the maximum is 999 and the equivalent representation is 10 to the power 3 minus 1. So, when it comes to the nth number of digit, uh, we can say that the maximum will be 9 repeated n times and so the number range will be from 0 to 9 which is repeated n times and the equivalent representation of the maximum number we can say following the pattern it is 10 to the power n minus 1. So, uh, if we come to the binary numbers, we can say the unsigned integer containing n bits can have a value between 0 to 2 to the power n minus 1. We will look at the ranges of unsigned integers represented through n bits. And uh, we can say that uh, for an 8 bit representation, the minimum value is 0 and the maximum is 2 to the power 8 minus 1 that is equal to 255. For 16 bit representation, the minimum is 0 and the maximum is 2 to the power 16 minus 1 and we get 65,535. That goes with the 32 and 64 bits too. The maximum value representation is given in the table. So, in this way, we can say that an n bit pattern can represent 2 to the power n distinct integers and the unsigned integers are represented by storing their equivalent binary code through n bits and this n can be uh, 8 or 16 or 32 or 64. Now let us move on to binary addition and uh, before we do any binary addition we need to understand the rules of binary addition. So, uh, so we can say that the case 1 uh, if there is uh, an addition of two zeros that is 0 plus 0 the result is 0 and uh, 0 plus 1 the answer is 1 and 1 plus 0 we get 1 and uh, when there is 1 plus 1 um, and uh, the value is 1 0 where 0 is the value and we can say that uh, with the carry of carry over of 1. See here uh, you can easily uh, identify that 1 plus 1 in decimal is 2 and 2 in binary uh, form representation it is going to be 1 0. And if we look at case 5 um, we can say that 1 plus 1 plus 1 like uh, it is the equivalent uh, the result is 1 1 uh, because we know that in decimal 1 plus 1 plus 1 it's 3 and the equivalent of 3 in binary is 1 1. So this can be uh, said as it is 1 with a carry of 1. Now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to perform a decimal addition and then compare the results with the binary addition and by that understand binary addition. Uh, so let us take two numbers decimal numbers 15 and 27 we are going to do a decimal addition the result is 42 and uh, when we convert uh, uh, then we are going to convert 
15 to its equivalent binary number through repeated division method we get 1111 and 27 when converted to binary we get 11011 and uh, 42 when converted to binary we get 101010 and uh, please note down these uh, binary equivalents because we are going to use them in the addition as well as compare the uh, results after the binary addition. Uh, now we are going to do binary addition of the two numbers 15 and 27. We know that the binary equivalent of 15 is 1111 and the binary equivalent of 27 is 11011. And uh, we can see that uh, 15 is 4 bits and uh, 27 is represented in 5 bits. And uh, so to make the number of bits even, we are adding 0 after the MSB uh, of the binary equivalent of 15. And uh, the addition part, uh, we are going to, uh, to start from the LSP. Even when you write down the numbers, uh, you are going to start writing from the LSP and move towards the MSP. And uh, we start the addition from the LSP. So 1 plus 1, it's 1, 0. 0 goes in the result part and 1 is a carryover. Uh, so including the carryover, it's 1 plus 1 plus 1. And uh, we get 1, 1. 1 goes in the result part and the carryover is 1. And uh, with the carryover 1 and the 1, uh, from the binary equivalent of 15, we get 1, 0. So 0 goes in the result part and 1 is a carryover. And uh, 1 plus 1 plus 1 gives 1, 1. And 1 goes in the result part and 1 again is a carryover. And uh, finally, we add 1 carryover uh, part 1 plus with the 1 in the 27 and we get the result 10. So, the result of the binary addition is 101010 and we know that uh, we already have noted it down the equivalent of 42 is 101010. And uh, this gives us the assurance that we have done the binary addition correctly, applying the binary rules of addition as uh, specified in the table on the side. Now let us do one more binary addition and uh, here we are given the numbers 11100 and 11010. And uh, we are going to write down these numbers starting from the LSB. And uh, we will start the addition to starting from the LSB. And uh, we can see that 0 plus 0 gives 0. 0 plus 1 gives 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. And 1 plus 1 gives 1, 0. So we write the 0 in the answer part and 1 is a carryover and 1 plus 1 plus 1 gives 1 1 so uh, what i have done is i ver verified if we have done the binary addition correctly um, like you know uh, we can see that 1 1 1 0 0 the equivalent decimal number it's 28 1 1 0 1 0 the equivalent decimal number it's 26 and 1 1 uh, 0 1 1 0 which is the result of the addition binary addition the equivalent decimal value it's 54 now what I did was uh, I uh, converted these binary numbers to its decimal equivalent and added them to verify the result so twen even 28 plus 26 gives the result 54 and uh, so by this we have verified that the binary addition um, gives the same uh, result as the decimal addition and uh, if you are not sure how to convert a binary number to its decimal equivalent uh, we have discussed that in the previous videos so please go and uh, verify those videos now we will try to understand the binary addition with more examples uh, let us look at the first example uh, we are given the numbers 0101011 and uh, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. and uh, we are going to write down these numbers starting from the LSP and uh, we uh, find that uh, there are equal number of uh, bits which are filled and uh, uh, we will start the addition also from the LSP. So 1 plus 1 is 1, 0 and 0 is written in the answer part and 1 is a carryover. 1 plus 1 plus 0 uh, the answer is 1, 0. 
and uh, zero is written in the result part and one is a carry over one plus one plus one the answer is one 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 is written in the result part and one is a carry over one plus zero plus zero the answer is one there is no carry over uh, so we are filling the carry over part with zero and uh, you can also leave it blank uh, zero plus one plus one gives uh, one zero zero is written in the answer part and one is in the uh, carry over so one plus zero plus one it gives one zero zero is written in the result part and one is a carry over one plus one plus zero it gives one zero zero is written in the result part and one is a carry over one plus zero plus zero the answer is one and uh, so by this addition we are getting the result one zero 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 one one zero zero now let us look at the uh, next example here two binary numbers are given one zero one one and one one zero and uh, here you can see that uh, the one zero one one occupies four bits and one one zero it's three bits so we are going to add an uh, additional zero after the msb of 110 and let us start the addition uh, starting from the lsp so 1 plus 0 gives 1 there is no carryover so we're putting 0 on the carryover part 0 plus 1 plus 1 it's 10 zero. so 0 is in the result part and 1 is a carryover so 1 plus 0 plus 1 gives 10 zero. 0 is in the uh, result part and 1 is a carryover and 1 plus 1 plus 0 gives 1 0 and it's written in the result part so we can see that uh, adding the binary numbers 1011 and uh, 110 we get the result 10001 now let us look at uh, next set of examples example 3 uh, add binary numbers one 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 zero with uh, one one and uh, what we are going to do is we are going to write these numbers starting from the lsb and uh, we can see that uh, the second number one one uh, like after you write it uh, you, you you need to add zeros uh, to make the number of uh, bits equal and this zero is added after the msb and uh, here we have added three zeros and uh, we will perform the addition starting from the lsp 0 plus 1 is 1 carry over is 0 0 plus 1 plus 1 is 1 0 0 is uh, put in the answer part and the carry over is 1 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 1 0 and uh, we put 0 in the answer part and 1 is a carry over 1 plus 1 is 10 zero. 0 is put in the answer part and 1 is a carryover 1 plus 1 is 10 zero. and uh, that number is written in the answer part so adding the two binary numbers 11110 plus 11 gives the result 10001 and now let us look at the uh, next example uh, here the numbers are with binary point and uh, we can see that uh, the binary points kind of stays in the middle and the numbers are written to the left and right of the binary point and the addition rules binary addition rules are similar uh, even if it is a um, uh, number with the binary point so now we will start from the lsp uh, here it is one plus one it is one zero zero goes in the answer part and the carryover is one 1 plus 0 plus 1 it is 1 0 0 in the answer part carry over is 1 1 plus 1 plus 1 it is um, 1 1 and 1 goes in the answer part and carry over is 1 1 plus 1 plus 0 it is 1 0 0 goes in the answer part and carry over is 1 and then 1 plus 0 plus 1 it is 1 0 so the result of this binary addition is 1 0 0 1 point zero zero and with this we are done with the uh, today's topics and uh, we will meet again uh, with the next set of topics and if you like uh, the videos please subscribe and uh, share it with your friends thank you